Hey guys, what's going on? Today I have five of my favorite filmmaking accessories that I'm gonna share with you. They're quite affordable and I think it would be very beneficial to you guys. The first thing I find super useful is this ball clamp. I'm not sure the technical name for it, but basically it's a little ball head with a quarter 20 so you can fit a microphone, a camera, a light, and it's a little friction head so you can kind of adjust it any way you want it and then tighten down. It's very secure and then here you can mount it onto anything that's circular so I attached my zoom h5 to a boom pole which worked really well and it um, yeah it keeps it nice and secure I've mounted LED lights onto a stand so that way you can fit two lights using one stand same thing with the tripod you can put a, a cell phone adapter I have one here somewhere you can just put a cell phone adapter on here put it on your tripod so that way you have your phone recording as well as your main camera I did this one time where we're doing a live stream so I just use the little phone adapter attach this to my tripod and it works surprisingly well and this mounts very securely and I think it's about nine dollars so highly recommend if you don't have one already the next thing I have is a quick release plate as the name suggests it's a quick way to mount your camera onto other systems so let's say you have a tripod a glide cam a slider you can put one of these onto all your each of your rigs and you can mount it fairly easily so i have my uh, t3 right here i can just mount this small plate what's great about this one it's fairly cheap but also the mounting plate is really small so you can access the battery card on the battery slot right there and then I have a quick release plate on my glide cam. And it's super quick. It, you can push it down on this little pin and it just pops and secures very smooth. And once you're ready to switch it off, press down on this little lever, open it up and boom, it's that quick. It saves you a lot of time and it's definitely worth it. I think it's about $14, maybe a little less than that. I made a whole video on that if you wanna watch it right there. The third favorite thing is my microphone, the Rode Video Micro. This is such a good microphone. It's surprising how well this $60 mic is. Um, I watched comparison videos comparing this to the Rode Video Mic Pro, and it's pretty, pretty close, and it doesn't require a battery. So you can just plug it onto your camera and you're always gonna get sound. Definitely good for vlogging YouTube videos. Just a key thing is to get it close to your subject. So usually my videos, I just have it out of frame. Again, very good for 60 bucks. And it comes with a wind muff, which is super cool. The next item I use all the time is a reflector. Can't show you right now because I'm using the scrim to help light this video. It's just a nice, good, big source and it creates soft lighting. I use it all the time. I highly recommend it. You do get the other sides such as the gold and silver side, but most of the time I'm just using this inner scrim. The next piece of gear is pretty essential and it's quite versatile, and that is a microphone stand. The one I have is built fairly well. It's around $35, but it's definitely worth it. Not only can you use it for a mic stand, you can use it to hold up a reflector, you can attach lights to it, but most of the time I'm just using it to get my microphone as close as possible, just out of frame, so you get the best sounding audio. I really like how this stand has the quick leg lock feature, I guess. Um, makes it very quick to just set up. If you don't have a microphone stand already, I would definitely recommend picking one up so that way you can get your microphone closer. So those are the five favorite filmmaking accessories that I use frequently to make these videos, short films. Let me know your favorite filmmaking accessories in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.